Hello darlings and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the title of the video, I'm really excited because today I'm going to be doing a full makeup look using only makeup that I bought from the pound shop. So I'm really excited about that. As you can see, I don't have any makeup on. I've got a very shiny face. I have uh, applied moisturizer and I have also primed my skin. So yeah, let's get started. So I'm gonna start by using the foundation. They didn't have a primer, so I'm just gonna start with this. Uh, the brand is called Makeup Gallery, so everything bar from one product, which I'll show you at the end, is by Makeup Gallery. So yes, and this, is, this says it is a long-lasting foundation, so we'll see. So I'm using shade Caramel 7. I think it's quite a good um, match for my skin tone. The one below, I didn't know if it would be a little bit too light and this one I didn't know if it was going to be um, too dark but I'm not sure I think the shade range is okay we've got to remember this is the pound shop so I think while I was there I think I saw probably eight shades um, which isn't too bad but I went to quite a small store so obviously bear that in mind. If you go to a bigger store, you know, in a bigger town or a city or something, I'm sure they would have a bigger shade range. So it's applying really nicely. It's gliding on. I have to say, I've got hair in here. I have to say I already did my brows because I couldn't find a brow product. So, Okay, so I've finished applying the foundation. It's actually really dark. As I was applying it, I was thinking it's not too bad, but it's very, very dark. It's very orange. It's not even that it's too dark. It's just very, very orange. I feel like even if you were a darker skin tone to me, um, you still would struggle with this because it's not even brown. It's orange and no one's orange naturally. So uh, yes, So, but it did glide on really nicely. I think it's really nice coverage. It was quite thick. Um, it's like almost like a liquid mixed with a mousse kind of formula. Um, but yeah, apart from the shade, I really like how it applied. So we're going to move on to concealer next. Okay, now we are going to do the concealer. And again, it's Makeup Gallery. And this is called Define and Conquer. And it is a contour kit. So we have a cream highlighter uh, to conceal under the eyes. And then we have a powder contour. Okay, so I'm just going to go straight in under the eyes. I just dipped my brush into the product. It's very thick. Dipping the brush in, um, it's quite a thick product, but actually it glides on really, really nicely. So I like that. Once again, I'm using my KKW uh, Beauty brush, the Kabuki side that I always use to do my under eye concealer. Uh, and the last brush that I used for my foundation, in case you're wondering, was a uh, Real Techniques brush. So we're just going to go under here. I really like how this applies. I feel like it gives really nice coverage. It's quite hard dipping the brush into the pan because it's really thick. But apart from that, once you get enough product on the brush, it glides on really, really nicely. Okay, so I'm just going to blend this through a little bit more. And then we're going to add some powder. But I do really like how this applied. It's no different to any other concealer that I've used. I can't see any major differences. Um, glided on really nicely. Nice coverage. I really like it. Okay, next up we're going to go with the translucent pressed powder and it is called Smoothly Does It. Okay, so I packed quite a lot onto the brush. Again, this is a Real Techniques Bold Metals Collection brush and I'm just packing it on and it's actually going on really, really nicely. I'm not gonna lie, I have used this before um, and I love it, I absolutely love it. I think it's amazing, this product. It really is. It could easily rival a much more expensive uh, translucent powder. I think it's amazing. You can easily bake with it, set your makeup with it. Um, I really like it. You can see how just brightening under my eyes look. Okay, so I couldn't find a uh, powder apart from the translucent one, so I'm just going over with a bigger face brush and I'm just kind of dusting over the rest of my face with the same translucent powder that I just used to set the concealer. 
and I really, really like it. I love this powder, actually. It's a really nice effect on the skin. So now we are going to go in with the contour side of the contour kit. Okay, so what I'm seeing with the contour is that although I can see it on my skin, it's not very dark, so if you're any darker than me, it won't show up. And this was the only contour I could find in the pound shop that I was looking in. Um, it is beautifully soft, it's very fine, uh, so that's great. But what I will say is that I'm noticing it's slightly orangey uh, as opposed to being a cool toned um, contour. So I'd say it feels more like a bronzer than a contour. Okay, so I do have a bronzer and it is called Good To Glow and it is a matte bronzer. I definitely feel like this is a very similar shade to the contour that I just used. So that's what I mean about the contour. If it was a little bit more cool toned, then I feel like this would work better with it. But this is just very, very similar to what I already used. So, so far, I would say that the contour is a no from me. The formula seems great, but it's just the shade is wrong. Um, but I really do like this bronzer. It's very, very pretty. And it just warms up the face. So I do really like that. Okay, now I'm going to do some eyeshadow, and I have here Colour Story, the eyeshadows are called, and this is Brown Truffle number 10, gorgeous. So I'm just going to pop it in here, bring it across. I'm just doing a basic kind of, not basic, but just a natural daytime look. And right off the bat, the shadows really, although it's a shadow, it's still quite creamy and it's very pigmented, as you can see. Very, very, very pigmented. If I just rub my finger on the back of it, you can see that there. It's very pigmented. So I definitely wouldn't know that I was using a Pound Shop eyeshadow. I would feel that this is a much more expensive one. It just glides onto the skin really, really nicely. So yeah, I really like it. I'm just also going to take a little bit under the eye and use it as an eyeliner because I'll show you the eyeliners in a second and I don't really want to use them but I will show you them because I did get some. Okay so I thought I would just try the eyeliner anyway, I wasn't going to but um, I'm going to just put it a little bit in here and then I'll smudge it through. I don't really wear eyeliner very much so... I just tend to usually do like a smoky eye using eye shadow. Um, but actually, this is quite soft, which I'm quite surprised about. You can definitely get in there. You could even do a waterline with it, which I don't usually do. But yeah, I like this one. And this is shade, I'm not sure, black one. I'm also going to try this liquid eyeliner. I picked up uh, the Pro Liquid Eyeliner in brown. I also got this golden one, shimmery one. I also got dark grey, but I can't find it. So I'm going to go in with this brown one. Okay, so I'm just, just going to go in and try using this. It's very, very wet. There's a noisy car outside and I've got a little bit of eyeshadow on my nose. So ignore that. That just glides on really, really, really nicely. So, yeah. I like it. We'll see if it dries down matte or shiny in a second. But it does glide on really nice. I will finish this up and show you what it looks like in a second. Okay, so that went on really, really nicely. I just want to add a little bit more um, eyeshadow. So yeah, I'm gonna go with a little bit of shimmer now. So I have this beautiful shade here called Bronze. So I'm looking forward to trying this. Okay, so let's have a look. I would have applied the eyeliner afterwards but I kind of forgot and applied it and then realized that I wanted to add some shimmer. That is stunning. Really, 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 really beautiful. Very pigmented, very kind of creamy. I'm hoping you can see this, but it looks absolutely stunning. I will just swatch a bit on the back of my finger to show you. Look at the shine on that eyeshadow. That is 
absolutely amazing you can see the shine it looks like a highlighter that is amazing i might even use it on my cheeks actually that is amazing okay so i have another eyeshadow here and this is shade white frost and i'm going to use it to highlight my brow bone and do in the inner corners so go in there wow once again very pigmented very pretty I'm loving these eyeshadows. I definitely think so far the eyeshadows and the translucent powder are the winning products. The eyeshadows are so pigmented. You would never know these were from the powder shop. You would have absolutely no idea. They're absolutely stunningly beautiful. Okay, so I've just swatched it on the back of my finger and once again, look at the shine. This is insane. Okay, so I couldn't find any kind of highlighter, so I'm going to use that copper eyeshadow and just, wow, do it over the cheek. <laughs> that looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. Hopefully you can see that. I've got my main light on and now the sun's come up by the window, so like the lighting's probably changed. But that is stunningly beautiful. I absolutely am loving this so far. Okay, so I couldn't find my uh, makeup gallery lip glosses. I think my daughter's taken them. I did give them to her because I remember they were very, very sticky. So I wouldn't recommend those. But I did buy this in the pound shop. It's not makeup gallery. It's called Fat Lips. And it's by Look Beauty. I don't know if they're still around anymore. But it's just like one of these chubby sticks. So I thought I would finish the look with this. As I did buy it from the pound shop. This is very moisturizing. It feels really hydrating on the lips. I really like it. Like I said, I don't recommend the Makeup Gallery lip glosses. They are just way too sticky for me. Like I said, I think they're great for kids' play makeup, but not for an adult. So there we go. Okay, so I quickly want to mention the lip liners. Don't ever buy the lip liners. They are so scratchy. I can't even swatch them because they scratch my skin and the color doesn't even come off. So I wouldn't recommend them and I definitely wouldn't recommend the uh, lip glosses either. So the lip products are a bit of a fail for me. Okay, so now I'm going to try out this mascara. Uh, they have quite a few mascaras actually. Most of them are actually um, waterproof. So I wanted to get one that wasn't waterproof. So I got the plump up the volume volumizing mascara so I have applied the mascara and it went on really nicely I made a little bit of a mess but it wasn't too bad and overall I think it looks pretty good okay so my overall thoughts of the brand are as follows so I do think that the powders were amazing I absolutely love the translucent powder I loved the eyeshadows they were very pigmented very soft I really liked the bronzer as well so I feel like all the the powder products worked really really nicely uh, the lip products are a fail for me I didn't like the eyeliners they're too scratchy and the color doesn't even rub off onto the lips uh, and the lip glosses were too sticky and thick and gloopy so I didn't like those and everything else that I used I would say was just kind of average but I would definitely recommend any of the powder products so I hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you all again soon bye